Hi all, my name is Nani. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Are you tired of manually searching for AWS documentation? Are uh, struggling to debug issues while coding? Let me introduce you to Amazon Q, the game change VS Code extension designed to supercharge your productivity with AI. What is Amazon Q? Amazon Q is an AI powered extension that developed by AWS. Think of it as a smart coding assistance that integrates directly with Visual Studio Code. It helps you seamlessly access AWS documentation, code generation, guides, examples without leaving your code editor. Let's do the installation and setup of Amazon View extension in VS Code. Open VS Code, navigate to extension view, search for Amazon View. Click on install on Amazon View extension. After installation, click on Amazon Q icon in the VS Code activity bar. So you can use Builder ID for free or you can use AWS account for pro. So I'm using Builder ID for free. I selected free and I click on continue. Follow the on-screen instruction to complete the authentication process. It is going to open the AWS access portal. There you can provide your email. So I already have the Builder ID. So it is asking for the extension. I'm clicking on allow access. So if you do not have Builder ID, you have to create a new Builder ID. To give your email ID and password, you need to set the password and you'll be able to access the AWS account. So I'm allowing access, request approval. So you can go back to the Amazon. You see, the setup is completed. So it prompted with the uh, I, I am Amazon Q. So I can answer software development questions. So whatever the questions we are going to ask, it is going to provide the answers. Let's see the features of Amazon Q extension. So these are the features, these are the key features uh, the Amazon we going to provide. So inline code suggestions, which means provide real-time code suggestions for multiple languages. It supports Node, Java, JavaScript, Python, all the languages. Let's see the inline code suggestions, how it is going to work. So for example, this is, I have created one test.py. So in the test.py, I'm going to provide some comment. So based on that comment, it is going to generate inline code. Okay. Function to filter. From there is So it's going to generate a function. You see, define filter data return. So if you click on tab, it's going to uh, copy the entire code, whatever it shows. Okay. So you see, so this is the inline chart. Let's go to the features. Chart assistance. So engages in conversation to generate explain code. So for this, you see on the left side, you'll be able to see the uh, chart tab. So there you can ask the answers whatever you want. So which is having a multiple uh, features also. So if you click on slash and then you see all these features. So slash dev. 
it generates scores to make a change in your problem. If you want to do some unit test cases, uh, slash test. If you want to review a code, slash review. If you want to uh, generate a document, uh, slash doc. Transform into Java project. If your Java project in previous version, if you want to transform that into current version, if you use this slash transform whatever version you want to use. Okay. This is the chart. It's going to be provided by AWS. Amazon it's means. So if you want to ask any of the Amazon documentation, it is going to give kind of let's say Amazon S3 integration. So it is going to generate answer for you. So it's going to generate answer in Python. So whatever you want, you can provide there is going to provide by using the whatever question we want we have we have asked so see it, it's going to provide step by step process okay. so inline chart allows code optimization and commenting through chart okay so for that uh, we have to select block of code which you wanna uh, optimize or fix or you want to uh, send to the Amazon queue to ask something. So you have to select a block of code and right click and go to the Amazon queue option. There you see all the options like explain, refactor, fix, optimize, generate as, send to prompt, inline chart. So if you ask inline chart, right, you click on inline chart. So you see on top, you'll be able to see one uh, chart box. Okay. Say the same way, uh, select block of code and right click Amazon queue and send to prompt. So it's going to, uh, you know, chart box. There you see all the code, whatever you selected, right? There you can ask whatever you want to do to use these uh, you know features and at the same way select block of code right click and select Amazon queue you know you can ask explain refactor fix whatever you want you select click on explain it's going to explain the whatever the code you selected you see right okay and then code reviews, we have seen that slash slash review, it's going to uh, review your code, whatever uh, you have opened in the user studio code. And uh, document generation slash doc is used for document generation. And unit test slash unit. So slash test is for uh, uh, generating unit test, Python, Java, okay. So core transformation. So we are, we are already discussed about this. So, you know, it boosts developer to improve uh, their productivity. Thank you for watching.